Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin. I'm running for the king. I'm here in my shed. I'm going to pull some orders this week. We're going to start with today. So let's go. Well, today is Wednesday. It is the 16th of October. We're half, more than halfway through October. It's almost Halloween. And speaking of Halloween, I lost my skeleton. He fell off too. And well, I'm just not going to put him back. And I lost a pumpkin, I think, or two as well. Okay, orders. I have seven orders going out. Not a bad Tuesday. My biggest sell from Sunday, I know, just paid. So uh, I'm excited to show you what that is. We're going to start with the smallest item, work our way up to that one. And the first one's a cup, and it's uh, back over there. Let me stick you on the wall. I picked up a couple character glasses the other day, a couple Saturdays ago at a yard sale, and not the Taz ones. Those are still over there needing to be listed. Uh, this one's a Popeye. I have an ET one. And what was the other one? Uh, Clarabelle, I think, from Disney. This one's Popeye. It's from 1975. You probably can't see that. Uh, but I thought it was cool. It sold on offer last night, $7 plus shipping. That's one down, six to go. The next is one of those tie clips right over here. It is in my cigar box. And uh, which one do I feel lucky with? Let's do this one. You may have seen these before, but it's just a little home light chainsaw on a tie clip. Pretty awesome. I had a boatload of those and I only have, I think, six left after this one. That one sold $8.99 plus shipping. Two down, five to go. I listed a couple book sets yesterday. They both sold, actually. I'm going to show you the lower dollar value one first. It is a lot of Mary Higgins Clark, Carol Higgins Clark uh, mystery novels. And these are all Christmas novels. So I thought that was a pretty cool pickup. There's five of them which means I paid a dollar at the library. They're 25, no, a dollar 25. So they're a dollar 25 cents each. So I paid a dollar 25 at the library. They sold $9.99 plus shipping in just a few hours. So maybe I underpriced it, but probably not. Three down, four to go. The next is a dog collar. Let me pull the box down. Uh, this one I picked up in Cincinnati. It sold $9.99 plus shipping. Four down, three more to go. We're over halfway through. It's time for the joke of the day. And here it is. Why did Frankenstein's monster never have any money? Because he was charged a lot while staying at the castle. Next up is an article of clothing. It's one I've had listed for a while. I think I picked it up at Goodwill for about a dollar, dollar and a half. And I pulled too many out. It's this shirt right here. I bought three shirts. They were all exactly the same, which is awesome because it was all one listing. And this is a US Army short sleeve dress shirt, AG415. And it's a size 17. And that's it. It's this color. It's like a short sleeve dress shirt, military style, $14.99 plus shipping. Two more to go. And the next one is another book set that I picked up that I picked up yesterday. I picked it up like three Saturdays ago. I listed it yesterday and it sold this morning on offer. I know maybe I shouldn't take an offer so soon, but it was more than I paid I'm trying to get rid of it. Let me show you. It was a lot of 16 American girl novels. And so these are from when they were still the Pleasant Company, and they're from the late 90s, early 2000s. So vintage, technically, and that's how I listed them. There's 16 of them. There's the whole run for Samantha, the whole run for Addie, two for Josephine, and two for two other girls. And uh, they're in fairly decent shape. One is kind of a little wavy at the top, but uh, definitely readable. Picked them up at a yard sale. They were in three bundles for a dollar a piece, so I'm $3 in and they sold in less than a day for $25 plus shipping. And yeah, I came down five bucks uh, on the on day one, on the first uh, within the first 24 hours. But, uh, you know, I told myself when I listed them, I was gonna list them a little high and take offers. So uh, let me know, would you, take, uh, would you take 25 if you had them listed for 30 on the first day? Uh, I don't know, because they're books and uh, they take up space, I definitely wanted to get them out. So not bad. I'm, I'm happy with the sale. And now for the one you've all been waiting for, my best sell of the weekend slash today because it sold on Sunday and they just paid today. It's up in C6 and uh, I'm gonna have to pull it down and show you. I have it all bagged and I picked this up Thursday on the River to River sale. It was uh, the same day I picked up all that Taz stuff that I showed you in the last, uh, my last yard sale video and uh, I paid $5 for it and I, didn't have any reception and I just went with my gut, but this is a vintage 90s Ralph Lauren Polo Country jean jacket. It has a corduroy uh, collar and it's a size large, men's size large, it's zip up. 
and it was made in the USA. So all that stuff just made me want to grab it. I did. I paid five dollars for it, and I knew it would do okay. And it wasn't until I got home and looked it up that I knew <laughs> it was going to do okay. But uh, I'm super happy with the sale. So I had it listed for one twenty-five, and I took an offer on Sunday for $119.99 plus shipping. So I received a $100 offer. I counted it $5 off, which is not much, but it was a brand new listing and they accepted and they just paid today. So this is going out for $119.99 plus shipping. And what a great, uh, what a great sale. It's in excellent shape. I couldn't find any others like this. I saw a lot of button up ones, but this one's a zip up and I couldn't find the style anywhere. Uh, there wasn't a lot to go on, to be honest with you, but uh, if you find vintage Ralph Lauren Polo Country jean jackets, they almost always do $50 or more, and this one went for $120. All those items sold on eBay, nothing on Macari or Poshmark today. I'm going to get this all stuff packed up. I have to go back to work. All right, folks, we've got everything packed up, and my work day's over. I'm getting ready to head to the post office, but I have one more sell, and we're going to grab it. It's a CD. Well, it's two CDs, drawer two. And I do not see it in drawer two. Maybe it's in drawer three. Now I'm worried. Nope, it was in drawer two the whole time. It's right here. It's two CDs by the Night Blooming Jasmine. Uh, Dixieland Hymns two and three, fully sealed. Got these in a an estate sale, I think. I paid a dollar a piece. These two sold for $30 plus shipping on offer. I think I had them listed at 40. Uh, maybe $35. I'm not sure, but $30 is definitely fair for these two, and they're going out the door today. Adding that one makes eight going out today, so I'm happy. That's a great, great Wednesday for me, uh, especially. So thank you so much for hanging out there with me today. I do appreciate it. We're going to pull orders the rest of the week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Today's Thursday. It's the 17th of October, and I have one item. I probably should have waited on those CDs and did them today, so I had more to show you. That's all right. We have one teeny tiny sale and a joke. So let's get that sale first. This is a metal art plate is what I'm looking for. It's from a Zobie mystery box. And these aren't really worth much at all, but I got tons of them in mystery boxes. And so, you know, I listed them and it looks like it's this one right here. This one is uh, Doug dressed as Quell Man. And like I said, this came out of a mystery box. And I really don't have anything into it. Uh, I was getting these in their clearance boxes. I get a bunch of stuff, including some autographs. And those autographs paid for everything. And this is just, I guess, icing on the cake. Not very much icing, but uh, it sold. $4.99 plus well, shipping. All right, here is the joke of the day. What do Australian ghosts like to throw? This is an easy one, folks. Boomerangs. I know, I know, they're terrible. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me today. I'm gonna get this packed up. It's gonna be super fast. Um, it's nice outside. It's warmed up a little bit. I'm probably gonna walk to the post office to get a little exercise in. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Hey folks, today is Friday. It is the 18th of October and uh, it's slow. So slow in fact that I listed at lunch instead of pulled orders because I'm gonna have plenty of time this afternoon to get them done. So my work day's over. This is gonna be it. We just have two. The first is an article of clothing. It's right here. It is in C6 and it's something I picked up at my hometown thrift, which means I have less than a dollar into it. And I think this is a pretty good clothing sell for me, especially for what I find. Vintage Jan Sport. It is a Southern Illinois University mom shirt. So it's all embroidered. It's very early 90s, late, you know, early mid 90s, like mom core i guess this is is mom core a thing we have granny core this is mom core and it sold for 19 dollars 99 cents plus shipping so like i said not bad for an article of clothing i picked up for maybe a quarter maybe less and it's time for today's joke here it is what do you call a really annoying pumpkin a jerko lantern those are not getting better the jokes are getting worse i picked the best ones i could find at first and we got 31 well, 31 days in October, but it'll be end up being like 20 jokes or something. Okay, let's see. The next item I have, the last item I have is a book. And uh, I'm looking to see where I put it. It is going to be right behind Taz in this ashtray. It is an Apple II reference manual. Pick this up in a private uh, estate sale pick. The one where I bought everything for 50 bucks. And it's pretty awesome. It's from 1981. 
and it uh, it has the logic board for the circuits and everything. So that's pretty cool. And I guess if you really knew what you were doing and you had this logic board, you could totally build an Apple II by yourself. Uh, I think I, I'm not really sure, but I sold the other Apple books in a big lot and they sold pretty quick and they sold for good money. This was the one that was worth the most. And so I separated it out, had it listed for 25 and took an offer this morning, $20 and 37 cents plus shipping. So I, I'm happy with that. Uh, that buy has done excellent for me. And I couldn't even tell you the totals cause I stopped tracking, but, uh, you know, so two sales at 20 bucks, I'll take it. Well, at least I'll take the 20 as my average sell price. I'd really like a few more uh, sales themselves. What are you going to do? All I can do is list and uh, hopefully source things that people want to buy. And it's their job to actually buy them. Maybe we'll get some good sales over the weekend. And I'll show you when we come back on Monday. I'll see you then. Hey, folks, today is Monday. It's the 21st of October. It's the last day we're going to have on this video. And I had a decent weekend, I think. 10 orders on eBay and one on Macari. And that's not super huge numbers, but the long weekend last weekend, I only had eight. So doing better. And I went yard selling on Saturday and I listed almost everything I bought, which is good. I mean, I still have probably 12 items or something to list, but the majority of the things I bought, I listed. And so, uh, and some sold. So that's good too. Let's start off with that Macari sale. I'm getting yapping. Um, I sold the board game. It's right up here. It's Q's Race to the Top. It's like a little kid's board game uh, for behavior, social skills, and physical coordination is what it says. Picked this up when I went to the NF concert in Nashville. Oh, 2023 sometime. And uh, got two of them. So it's one listing, two items. This one sold. It sold on offer. And I got a look. It sold on offer for $21.60 but it's free shipping. So uh, it's gonna be about 10 bucks, I think. All right, let's do these eBay sales. Uh, I don't have a lot of time today because I do have to get back to my job, but uh, I got a couple movies sold. Let's get those out. And here they are. The first one is Crimson Wing. Uh, it's a Disney DVD. I think I picked it up for like 50 cents or something. Sold on offer $2.99 plus shipping. I've had it for a while. Let's get it out of here. The next one is Elvis Love Me Tender, and this may be a bolo. I picked it up at my hometown thrift for like a buck on half off day. It sold on offer too, $26.99 plus shipping. I probably could have held out and got that extra $3 or whatever, but I sent a 10% off offer and it's gone. So one to 26, not bad. I have some die cast cars going out and I picked them up at a yard sale a couple weeks ago and I just got them listed this last week and they sold. It's these Johnny Lightning cars. And I bought a bunch of 124 like die cast Hot Wheels NASCAR cars, which probably wasn't a great buy, but this was thrown in the deal. So this kind of sweetened it. And uh, these are from 1990 something. I don't even know what year. No, 2000, from the year 2000. And these sold $9.99 plus shipping. I got a couple CDs going out. Let me pull all of them out. They're here in my drawers. The first one is Cornet Chop Suey, A Taste of Chop Suey. I think I got it for a dollar in a state sale, still sealed, sold $9.99 plus shipping. And one buyer bought two copies of this one, Mac McNally Word of Mouth. This came out of the big CD buy. They sold $15.98 plus shipping. So what's that? That's like $7.99 each, I guess. Hey folks, sorry, the picture may have just changed a little bit, but uh, I had it on the, like, the wide lens when I yard sell and I forgot to switch it back, so. It may have been a, a weird, like, distortion of things, but I apologize. We're back to normal. I have two things I sold out of the crafty storage unit. I bought that storage unit in 2022, uh, summer, late summer 2022, but I, it's more than two years ago, and two things sold over the weekend out of it, which is crazy. They've been listed for a while. The first one is right here. Here it is. It's a cute koala light switch cover from probably the 80s, would be my guess. Uh, I don't think it's marked or anything uh, date-wise on there, but it's definitely vintage. Uh, the person that owned that craft storage unit liked crafts, liked koalas, and liked the St. Louis Cardinals. So there was lots of that stuff. Uh, this is one of the last few things besides the next thing that sold. And it's actually a lot, and it's right here in this gray tub. And they are battery-powered Christmas lights. It's like big old battery powers, so uh, like C's and D's. But they're all still sealed, and uh, maybe they're good for crafting. They're not LEDs. They're the old school lights. And how many are there? 
There's six uh, six sets. They sold on offer for eleven dollars plus shipping. I'm ready to get these out of here, so I took it. I do have a hat that sold, and I can see it. It's this purple one. Well, it's right right in the back, but I can see it from here. <laughs> Let me get it out. And here it is. It's this Texas armadillo hat. Got it at Cincinnati, I believe, at the reseller rally. And I picked up a bunch of dog clothes, and I bought the hats from the same guy. That one was not worth a lot, and I took an offer. $4.75 plus shipping. Two items left, and I bought them both at yard sales on Saturday. Uh, first one is right here. Then we'll do a joke, and then I'll show you my best sell of the weekend. It is a lot of nine mini cassettes, and picked these up for a buck. They sold $12 plus shipping. And here is the joke of the day. What do black cats like to sing? Well, obviously, it's music. Music. And we're down to the last sale I have so far for the day. It's something I picked up for $3 at a yard sale on Saturday at my first stop, no less. It's this HP LaserJet toner. And a lot of times, there's not a lot of value in HP toner. Sometimes there's a lot, but sometimes there's not. I wouldn't have picked this up if it was more than five bucks, but they wanted three for it, so I grabbed it. It's still sealed, although it does have a little crack right there in the cardboard. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping in just a couple hours. So I'll take that. And it was purchased by one of those accounts that where they probably strictly buy toner to resell. It may even be, I may even be shipping it to someone else, drop shipping it, but that's not a big deal at all. I care less. I got what I wanted out of it and hopefully they're going to make some money on it as well. Um, I think that's it. That's all the orders. I want to show you something I got at that same sale that where I got the toner. Let me go grab it. And I shared this on my Instagram, but I don't have a lot of followers. It's mostly family and friends, but uh, it's an autographed photo. This is Peter Kwong, and he was in Big Trouble Little China. I love that movie, and it's autographed. Uh, it's written out to Michael, which isn't my name, but uh, I couldn't leave this behind. This is the first thing I saw at the first sale of the day, as I was super stoked. It's not in the best of shape, but I think it's gonna go up on the wall up there, or maybe, uh, over over there i'm not really sure but uh it's definitely staying in the shed i'm not selling this one i love this movie it's so good i don't know i was super excited first thing of the day and then the toner came with it so uh, this cost me a buck and uh it's well worth more than a dollar not to me it's worth like probably like five bucks on ebay or something well i just want to say thank you so much for hanging out there with me this week if you made it this far and you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, well, I'd appreciate your subscription too. We don't do anything fancy here. I'm just showing you what I'm selling. And uh, sometimes it's a lot and sometimes it's very little. So there's not a lot of bragging to do, but uh, you can kind of get an idea what a uh, small time seller on eBay sells. And uh, that's what we do here. So thank you so much again. I hope you all have a great day. God bless.